All right, in this video, we're going to see how to take our paper music and convert it into a format that NextPage can use, which is Adobe PDF format, or just uh, PDF for short. So to do that, we're going to need a couple of things. First, we're going to need a scanner. Now, this is an all-in-one device. This is a printer, a scanner, and a copier. And besides that, we're also going to need some software on our PC or our Mac that uh, will actually you know, run the conversion process uh, into PDF for us. Now, when you go to look for a scanner, um, there's some things you want to look for uh, in particular that'll make life easier as you're working with your music. And uh, for example, on this scanner on the top here, we've got an automatic document feeder. That means we can lay a stack of music, and I've got a small stack here, a six page copy of Claire de Lune. You can lay the whole stack on top and scan the whole thing in one operation. But that, you don't always want to do that. Sometimes you've got an old uh, music book. And you don't want to tear the pages out, certainly, so you can run them through this feeder. Instead, you want to scan them directly from the glass, uh, which this unit will support as well. So you would open your book, lay the page down, close this, go to your software and scan the first page, then open it back up, turn the book around or flip the page, whichever you have to do, uh, and repeat the process until you get all the way through. So this device can do both, so that's something to look for. The other thing is speed. Um, the more you pay, the faster these devices tend to be. Um, and you'll see how fast this one goes. This was not a terribly expensive printer. I think I paid something like $150 for it two years ago. And you'll see it's, it's pretty speedy. It's certainly fast enough for my needs. And you'll find that when, you, when you're converting your music, uh, you, go, you don't just sit down and plow through all your notebooks or, or, whatever, or your stacks or whatever you've got. You tend to scan in what you need at the time. So it's, you know, you want it to be quick, but it doesn't have to be terribly fast. So let's take our stack. Now, in my particular case with this scanner, the top of the page goes in first. We're going to lay that in, and we'll zoom in a little bit here if we can so you can see it go in. Uh, okay, all right, and I'm going to come over to my Mac now, and I'm running a program called Image Capture. Now, this comes with Mac OS X. Um, when you get a scanner, it's going to have a, usually it comes with software for Windows and Mac uh, that you can use also. Now, I like Image Capture because it's simple to use, and um, it does a very nice job, and all the important controls are right on the one screen. Let's go over those briefly. Now, I need to pick whether I'm going to use the, the glass, which is called flatbed here, or the document feeder. So I'm going to let that on the document feeder. You will usually have some options, uh, whether you want to just scan in black and white or color. And sometimes there's a text mode. Now, I'm going to recommend you use black and white. Color is not necessarily not necessary. You may choose to do that, but realize that that's going to make your files a lot bigger, and that may make paging go slower because it's a lot more a lot more information in the files, and the, the iPad has to render all of that. Depending on a, what model iPad you have, that will be a faster or slower experience for you. I'm going to say use it. Don't use text. Uh, it gets a little too grainy. Black and white, really, particularly on the Mac, is optimal. You will also need to pick a resolution. You can see there are a lot of options here. Anything over 150 is probably not going to be noticeable to you, but it will make the files bigger. So I'm going to say, you know, go as small as you can, uh, and still in, you know, still have a. You may have to experiment. You want a clean scan and a very clear scan. It's easier on your eyes. I have found that after about three years at this, 150 is about optimal. Uh, more than that, just makes the files unnecessarily big. Size of our paper, A4 is the size of a standard sheet of 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. Uh, orientation, um, I won't go into that too much except to say if you scan your music in and it's flipped upside down or sideways or the wrong way, you may need to experiment with this to get it right side up. I'm going to scan it to my desktop, so uh, it's going to show up right on the desktop here when we're done. But you could pick other uh, locations on your machine. And we need to give the file a name. And it was Claire de Lune, so we're going to Claire de Lune. It's going to be converted to PDF. There are other options. Make sure you pick PDF. And this right here, combined into single document, this is the most important thing you need to look for in your software. Obviously, here in Image Capture, it's right in the front. What this means is, if I've got multiple pages on the scanner, 
it is going to combine them all into a single PDF file. And that's what you need to do for next page. If you do not check this, the software is going to create a separate PDF file for each sheet of music. That is not what you want. That is going to end up looking like, in this case, I had six pages for Claire de Lune. That's going to look like six different songs to next page. You do not want that. So make sure to find this option in your software. It's named different things, but it means this. Combine everything into one file. The rest of these things we don't have to, uh, we don't have to fidget with. All right, and then we're going to click Scan. And we'll see the first page appear. And image capture will give us a little update for every page. And there we have it. At this point, we're done. We can close out image capture. And it's over here on our desktop now. We can open it up. And there is our scan. So that's how simple it is. Uh, it looks like now I should have had six pages. Now what happened, and this may happen to you, is the pages stuck together. So <clears throat> a um, little tip here from the voice of experience, I suppose, is don't just scan this in, put it in next page, and run to your performance. Make sure that all the pages are in here. But essentially, that, that is the process. And at this point, you can copy to next page. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions about how to scan your music uh, to get it in the next page, please feel free to email us at support at onstagetechnologies.com. Thanks.